Welcome back Pirates to Sea of Thieves Season 4. Now if you guys are here to figure out what is the quickest way to level up your season pass, you're in the right place. Before we do that, I really want to say thank you so much. We finally reached 3,000 subs on the YouTube channel with all your support. It is a huge landmark for me. I can't thank you enough for the support and I wanted to continue to grow and continue to reach higher and better goals. Now it's been a couple weeks at this point in the season four. I'm currently level 69 renown and I've learned as much as I need to by this point to tell you what you need to expect, especially if you're watching this video later on, or what you need to do. Well, the things we're looking for are what is gonna level up your renown and is there any fast way to do so? Rather than farming a certain area, it's what type of events or trials are you gonna be looking for? Starting off, as you've probably noticed already, there's weekly, monthly, and seasonal trials. Now, unfortunately, that makes leveling up the season pass a lot slower because previously you were available, I believe, 67 trials all at once, meaning that you were probably unlocking trials that you didn't even know you were doing. And that's a great thing because it gave you a huge boost to your renown after completing such trials now unfortunately this time around you're actually gonna have to focus or dial in a little bit more to certain trials just to complete them now i recommend doing this this is probably one of the strongest points actually leveling up your season pass other than that i recommend just staying in adventure mode and playing as much as you can at this point i'm probably around 20 to 25 hours and i'm already level 69 but you want to continue to get to about 40 hours i would assume to get to level 100, that's what's expected, probably 40 to 60 hours for an average player to get to level 100. So if you don't have the time, make sure that you actually give yourself the time to do that in order to level up to level 100. Now, the last thing I'll say here is the Sunken Kingdom is the new accommodations. If you haven't gone to all the new shrines or treasuries, make sure you do that. It's a lot of added content to the game. Uh, for me, it's a little bit more filler, but I'm actually very excited that they've done something with the deep sea. It's been a very long time. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for that. You can actually get the curse very easily if you don't know so already. All you have to do is just go to each one of the shrines and find every single one of the books. There's actually only 30 books, so it's not that hard. You can just follow a guide online if you do have trouble with it, which I recommend if you want to get it done a little bit quicker. Other than that, this season is very similar to the last season my recommendation is to find as many dark tridents as you can pick them up bring them on your ship carry them with you that way when you do go to an event where you can use one aka the ashen lord you're able to defeat the ashen lord a lot faster now if you go to the treasuries it's going to give you about a level each time you complete them but going to an event might give you a little bit more especially if you're going to be completing challenges or even doing tall tales to get some of the trials done these dark tridents will come in handy. Now, if you're like me and have noticed all of the dark tridents sitting inside of the treasury, you might think to yourself, well, I could use these later on. But the problem is they actually don't really float. You have to swim them very close to the surface. I believe you actually have to swim it higher than the actual treasury shrine itself. And that does take a while. You can even have sharks, sirens, and lose your breath while you're in water. So it's a lot easier said than done. Every single trident that you can get is valuable. So I would recommend if you are doing any of these treasuries, just pick up one or two. It'll help you later on. If we do come across any additional information on how to level up your season pass by the end of the season pass, which is in nine weeks at this point, we will pin it to the comment section down below. That way everybody can see it because I do believe that everybody should be able to get these rewards if you're really trying to do so. The main thing I want you guys to focus on is if you do end up playing, try to get these ancient coins. Every 10 levels starting at level eight, you'll be able to unlock 25 ancient coin. It's a free 250 ancient coin just by playing. That's gonna be it for me, but if you guys do wanna stay up to date, tomorrow, October 7th, there will be a special event, Fury of the Dam, coming out. It's a seasonal event they're having for October, and with that, there is a lot new rewards that you can get. So once again, if you want to check that out, more than likely I'll be having another video on that as well as I do stream over on Twitch, Wednesdays and Fridays. Make sure if you guys have the time, pop on in, say hello. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to really thank you for all the support on my channel. It really gives me motivation to continue to do this. And I want to make sure you guys have a great day. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.